Hi and welcome to this DCP web tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the HDR Gamma in Movie Edit Pro 2022. Okay, so on my desktop I've got this folder and inside this folder I've got this one video clip that I downloaded from the Pexels website. I'll put a link to that same video clip in the YouTube description. Let's go ahead and open up Movie Edit Pro and I'm using the latest version which is 2022. I'm just going to set up a basic project here and I'm going to go to the timeline here so we can add our content. We'll simply drag and drop that. Now I'm going to add the content twice. I want to show you the difference between the two video clips. So the one at the bottom is actually the top layer and the one that sits above is actually a layer below. So you have to understand that the, the stacking order is in it's kind of in reverse if you think about it this way. So if we click on this bottom layer and then go over to the effects and inside the effects we want to click on the brightness tool here right the brightness and you've got a few different options in here so we can adjust the brightness we can adjust the contrast so as we drag this slider we can see we're just adjusting the contrast so i'm going to set the contrast to something around 60 so around the 60 sort of marker right so we're just in increasing the contrast and if we were to click on this m here this will hide and show uh, the top layer so the top layer is the original content right and the one below if we click on the m that's going to hide this this current layer so we can see what what the original one looked like so here we can see a basic difference between them right so this is it off and this is it going to be on so we can see it's improved a little bit and the next thing we want to do is just go ahead and adjust the lows here so the lows i'm going to set this to around minus 20 six right something around minus 26 27 just to bring it down a little bit and again you can see the difference now it's much darker but you can see much more contrast in the fire now right you can see it's not so washed out this one looks a little bit washed out this one's looking a bit better now but now we're going to adjust the gamma so we're going to click on the gamma and we're going to bring this up we're going to set it quite high something like around the 40 sort of marker let's say around 44 now we can see it's much brighter this scene so it's not so darken that but now we can see the difference between them we can see like a lot of the shadows coming out on the the rocks and so forth and it looks a little bit better right and we can adjust the um the gamma blur here or hdr blur so we can adjust the blur so if we bring it right down it looks a bit washed out here but as we increase the blur we can see that it improves the um the, the overall image we're going to set this to around 70 i think around sort of, sort of 70 marker so if we were to click on this little m icon here this turns this track off and on and you can see the difference between the content now all right so everything looks a bit faded here it all looks like one flat sort of color and then if we were to turn it on we can see the flames a lot brighter and all of the rocks show out quite well and these people are highlighted much better as well now all right because it's quite washed out and now you can see the difference and it's down to you to you know color grade and change the settings um how you feel they should be and you can see the mountains are much more clearer when we turn this on right and the sky and the clouds and everything looks a little bit better and there's a bit more detail in the in the video so if we were to play it we can see that and we can turn the track off as it's playing and we can see the difference it will take a little second to switch and then we can switch it back on again and now you can see the difference especially in the people right their, their faces uh, you can see quite a lot of difference look at this guy's face now this is with it off and then if we switch it we can turn it on and we can see it's much more clearer what's going on and you can see a lot of the, the highlights on the rocks a little bit better as well okay so that's how I use the um, the gamma and the brightness and contrast to adjust video content inside movie edit pro this is just a quick tutorial explaining that you need to go and experiment with these tools as high as lows as the gamma itself you can adjust all of these things um, and create something quite you know make something quite creative it's down to your own preference what you want that to look like uh, but go and experiment unless you experiment you're not really going to um you know learn how to use these tools that's the key is to go and play around with it see what everything does and then uh, adjust your video content accordingly to, to make it look better right make the flames look better make everything look better inside your video content so let's go ahead and save this work let's save the project as let's go to the desktop and we'll go to this uh, here and we'll just call this HDR gamma and let's save our work 
Okay, let's close this. Let's close down this folder. That's the end of this tutorial. Nice and simple. That's how you use the HDR gamma correction in Movie Edit Pro 2022. Hopefully you find this tutorial useful and I look forward to seeing you in the next DCP web tutorial. <laughs>